Hey, so I want to do a video, maybe even a series of videos about this thing called the Cloud Resume Challenge. So I first saw this last year at April time, I think, by a guy called Forrest Brazil who posted it. So the challenge itself is using AWS technologies, or I think that's the recommendation, and there's a series of different services that you can use with AWS that it recommends. So DynamoDB, CloudFront, S3, and the whole point is to kind of use these services like in the real world and actually get hands on and start playing with them. So if you go to, for instance, a job interview, you can show them things that you've built and you can talk about these different services uh, in a way that's gonna be more meaningful because you've actually touched them and used them. So basically I thought I would create a video or maybe it might become a series of videos uh, where we actually go through this challenge. Okay, so let's have a quick look through the actual website for this. So you can find this at cloudresumechallenge.dev and you're going to end up on this page. So you've got two different bits here. You've got the actual challenge and we've also got the Discord server. So the Discord server is actually really cool. It's very active, lots of different people in there chatting about the, the challenge itself. So I would highly recommend that you join that and get involved. So let's have a look anyway at the challenge itself. So if we go on here, take the challenge and basically we get a set of instructions about the resume challenge itself. So it's quite cool as well that someone's actually translated this into Spanish, which is pretty neat. So one of the first steps is certification. So I suppose you don't necessarily have to do this first, but it helps and you know, you can sort of do that certification as you go through the process. So let's quickly have a look through here and have a look at some of the instructions here. So your resume needs to be written in HTML. Fair enough. That's fine. Uh, not a Word doc, not a PDF. Cool, a bit of CSS as well. And that's all served through a static website. We also need to make that HTTPS and attach a domain name, very cool. And also include a bit of JS in our front end app. And this is where also it starts switching into backend as well, which is adding a database, adding an API, uh, adding some code to that backend API, adding some tests, some infrastructure as code, putting all that everything into source control including some CI CD, so having some automation to actually deploy our application, both front and back end. And then finally, a blog post. So yeah, that's mostly all there is to it. Uh, what have we got up here? So we've got FAQ, uh, da, 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 a bunch of FAQs, and also Hall of Fame. So this is quite cool as well. You can see the different people that have actually completed the challenge. And also you've got a link, I suppose, to their hosted resume and the blog post. Let's have a look at this one. Resume. Ah, nah, they've taken it down. Okay. Um, but yeah, that gives you an overview of the actual, the resume challenge itself. And yeah, so in the next video, what we'll probably be talking about then is how to get set up with an AWS account, because that's really going to be the first step that you're going to need to take if you're going to start building some of this stuff. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to go through in this first video. Just let you know that we, you know, we're going to be going through this, going to go through the Cloud Resume Challenge and Hopefully then I'll see you in the next video. The next video will be about AWS account setup and might seem like it's gonna be super dull, but it's really important that you get your account set up properly. Uh, there will be, you know, it's not just security, it's also for your own peace of mind because you, you, you know, you don't want to get your account compromised. That's it, just wanted to run you through the introduction to what we're gonna be doing now with the Cloud Resume Challenge and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So thank you and see you soon. Ah, sorry, I forgot one more thing, which is, so uh, important point to know, these videos, I want you to treat them as sort of a last option. So if you're really stuck, um, so some of the intro and the setup to AWS, yep, go ahead, watch those videos. Those will be useful for everyone. And I, you know, I think it's something that you deserve to get right. But for the rest of it, kind of treat it as a last option. So one of the great things about this challenge is like diving into some of these technologies and going through the docs and figuring it out. At times it's gonna be really frustrating um, and you're gonna get, you know, gonna feel very overwhelmed and you need to feel very lost. But I think that process of going through it like that, really struggling with the, with the technologies is actually very beneficial. So whilst yes, I'm gonna put these videos together so you can see how I might do this, but as you see, I'm not following a guide, like I'm going to read the docs, I'm going to build uh, the services following the information that I find online, and I'm not necessarily going to follow someone else. I'm not going to look at someone else's repository, and I'm not going to follow too closely to what someone else did. Now, of course, in the, in the real world, you know, you can sort of copy other people's approaches and things like that. But in this case, you know, it's, it's, it can be very sort of comforting to sit there and watch someone take you through it and take you through something like this step by step but you know I just I really like to say I really encourage you to you know get stuck in and you know turn to these videos if you're you know if you're finding yourself really stuck and you need a way out because that's kind of why I'm making them but you know just give it your all and go in and head first like try and do this first before you revert back to these videos so I just wanted to put that in there as like a disclaimer so I don't get like 
Forrest like adding me on Twitter, calling me out saying, the whole point of this challenge is that it was, you know, it was challenging, it was difficult, you have to get stuck in. Uh, yeah, because it is. And I think that's one of the reasons it's been so successful to this point in time. So just wanted to make that disclaimer. Uh, yes, that was a bit of a long disclaimer. See you in the next video.